everyone welcome back to my channel i just wanted to jump on and show you guys um just some pretties that i put together for my very special friend sandra who is simply duke on instagram i will provide all of her details down below she does not have an instagram channel but um, definitely follow her on instagram she's very talented she's from portugal and we've become friends over the last couple of months and she's just she's honestly a blessing to have as a friend so we had agreed to be pen pals so she already sent me some mail and i'll leave the link to that video as well uh, when i did that unboxing super super pretty mail she sent me and so now i'm sending back so i used a variety of collections as you'll see as i show you my projects i wanted to show you guys these cute little wooden um hoop embellishments that i made i got the hoops from aliexpress and for this i used some of the willow lane pieces i just used this really pretty um lace and glued it around there and yeah i thought that was pretty cute and so that's the first one and then i have a mini one here and i didn't bother to paint the wooden frame maybe next time i will but i kind of liked the way the wood looked against it and then here was a good way of me being able to use some of the little stickers that came in like the little sticker pack and some of the smaller elements so I thought that that turned out pretty cute and the little um, puppy sticker, the little polar bear I think is so cute. So I'm sending her these two using the Willow Lane collection. And then I also made her these um, shaker stars using Buenos Dias collection and just included a variety of different sequins in there and layered it with a little bit of like a vellum cutout and just used this puffy um, sticker that says Amor which means love. So I thought that was pretty. And I think the way it's decorated, she can use it even with other collections as well. Next, I have this other one here and I used the cute little um, soda and just put smile on it. And I used like silver and pinks as my sequence. Um, she had commented that she, oh, she always comments on everything that I make. And I know she likes a lot of the things that I've made. And I know she liked, this one was one of her favorites, the film strip um, die. So I went ahead and made her two of these and I was using the Buenos Dias collection as well and just layered it pretty simply and I backed these ones with vellum. I printed um, some of the paper from the collection on vellum and so that's the first one and this is the other one here. This one says memories. I used a piece of the chipboard, some vellum cutouts and that's the sequence that I included in there. So I'm sending her those two. Next, I also um, I made her an embellishment box using the She's Magic collection. And this was the first time I pulled it out um, to play with the She's Magic. I don't have a whole lot of it, but I um, wanted to just, like I said, just give her a, a variety of different collections. And so I used some of the, like, the chipboard pieces, ephemera, and I love how they printed the ephemera on like that specialty paper that kind of has like a shimmer to it and it says hello there dare with a little bird puffy and yeah you can't see it i layered um this really pretty like netting coral um mesh there as well so you open it up and in here i included a bible scripture for her it says if you have faith as small as a mustard seed nothing will be impossible for you matthew 17 and 20. i know that she will appreciate this for sure um, so I did include a Bible verse in there for her. And in here, I filled it with a bunch of different goodies from my stash. Some beads, some pom-poms, and these little ice cream cones so she can make her own little ice cream cone charms. Um, some cute, like, resin charms. Some regular charms that are scattered all about in here. I sent her one of these that I got from, um, uh, oh, what? I can't remember the name of the store. She sells beautiful things. I'll link it down below if I remember. I can't believe my mind just went blank like that. So all of these different charms, these I got from Janae when she had, was selling those beads. Super, super pretty. Pretty, oh, pretty pink paper. Oh, I can't remember. But So I'm giving her a bunch of different charms in there and um, some beads, some little clips, some more beads in here and some bows and some little gemmies so that is the embellishment box that i made for her next 
Um, I also created, like, this is an Amy Tangerine collection that I used, an older collection. I don't remember the name of it, um, but I thought it was really pretty. That was my first time using it as well, so I just kind of used that as my excuse to just kind of dig in and start playing with some of the things that I've had in my stash and I've been wanting to use. And I'm going to, I want to tell you guys the name of it. It's, um, so I have it right here. It's this one. I don't know what it's called, but stay sweet maybe. I'm not sure, but I use this collection to make this little, um, super small, like tag flip for her. And I do like the way it turned out. Very fun, very colorful, and very summery. I used, um, this is a die that I got off AliExpress, so I used two of those um, binder rings. I just added some charms here to the side, and it says, always in my heart. These I are actually some Dollar Tree stickers that matched, and I thought it was pretty to add them there. Layered a little bit of that tool there. And then this one says, looking on the bright side of life is a choice you'll never regret. Added some of the puffy stickers and a sticker from the sticker sheet. And look at how cute the little hedgehog is. And I have um, I have him holding one of the little puffy stickers, like the little pink lemonades. And it says, hello. So I thought that was really cute. And I really like this paper. And then here I use one of the big um, die cuts. It's like a lemon. It's a lime. And I just put Wonderful Life there. And used some of the other puffy stickers that were just like other fruits and that little popsicle there and here it says lazy days I used some of the clear stickers and just kind of created my own tag and the little hedgehog I think is so cute and then I added that little puppy sticker there so this hedgehog is quite busy actually taking photos drinking pink lemonades and then here um, this actually is a Dollar Tree sticker but I thought it was really pretty and there was like this cute little fishbowl um, ephemera piece and I just thought to put it right on top and I thought that turned out cute. And it says loving it. So I love, love, love the collect the colors in this collection. I think it's really cute. So I made her that little tag flip. And then next, um, so this was my first time using this collection as well and I absolutely love it. I don't have a lot of it at all and I wanted to use it to make something for her and this is the um, this is by my mind's eye and oh my gosh I can't remember the name of it right now but very women empowering really pretty colors um, a lot of like reds oranges yellows but I just love the way it has like a retro feel I love the way the colors like the prints and the patterns is super pretty it's to me it kind of has like a vintage feel and then here I made some like little paper tassels that I had made in my challenge for Penelope but I had already crafted these and I thought it was perfect to add onto my little album here and one of these really pretty charms that I got from AliExpress and then in here when you open it up so it's like a little embellishment book so the papers are really busy but I think it's so pretty I made this ruffle trim embellishment with this girl and it says streamer and I attached it on with like just like a sticky dot and when you turn I made this little um, embellishment as well I used the KS craft die and made this little um, cassette tape um, embellishment and on the underneath here these are actually like I'll, when I turn it here I'll show you guys so here I've clipped in some journal cards that she can use to create her own embellishment. Oh, that looks like that's stuck on kind of kind of tight. Okay, I won't mess with it because I don't want it to rip off. But I had sent, I had put in some embellishments on these little cards for her to use the little journal cards. And she can add it to an embellishment or layer on top of it. Here I made this um, crepe paper rosette and use a cupcake liner to make that rosette as well. I thought that turned out really pretty. I just love the brightness of the colors. This one says good things are coming. And then here is another one of those cassette um, embellishments. And then here it says she's magic, that one. So I thought that this was really pretty. I absolutely love it. It's been a while since I made like a little mini album. And so she's gonna be getting this as well from me. 
and let's see we're running out of space here guys so next um i do have oh i made her a pocket letter i made her two actually so let me just move some of these things around so she had sent me um when she sent me my mail she had sent me some dear lizzie here and there thickers no not thickers um yeah like the word thicker pack and when I saw that I was inspired I had like a few papers from that collection not much at all I felt inspired to pull them out and use some uh, pieces that I had that I had actually gotten in the hip kit club with that collection and make something for her so like all of the gold they came from that um, pack that she sent me and it says fun in the sun I use these beautiful stickers that Wendy had gifted me in a swap that we did a Christmas in July swap and these are some ephemera pieces that I had that came in this hip kit that came with the Dear Lizzie collection. And I just used um, some stuff that I had in my stash to decorate there. Excuse the glare. <clears throat> and I made it a shaker. So it is a shaker pocket letter. And then here I just added this um, really fun dangle on the side. And I just um, made these little pieces into... Um, charms and it's just really fun and colorful and I used some colorful um, jump rings and a colorful chain so I thought that was really pretty so I made that for her as well as I also made another pocket letter for her a kind of mini version this is probably like a six by eight I think something like that and then I just added some um, char like no bead dangles on the side here and this is using garden party and I kept it very simple I made a shaker at the bottom there and just layered some of the ephemera pieces and used like that resin heart and these that I had in my stash and I thought that turned out pretty and I used some of the washi tape as well so there is that mini pocket letter okay so um I have another tie clip that I made for her using Garden Party. And these are some of the trims that I included in my tie clip. And she can take these off and use these if she likes um, on a project or leave it on. And then I just included some wire wrapped beads attached there. And I tried to keep it as flat as possible because I wanted to fit in the box that I had designated to center. So this one says wildflowers well, don't care where they grow. And I just used some of the clear stickers just to add a few little accents to the tag. And then here, this one says, I want it to last forever. Sweet treat. And I just used some of the chipboard, clear stickers, puffy stickers. Very simple tag. And this one here, it says bloom. I love this girl. And the bunny, I just dressed her up a little bit with a little hat and added some sequins trim and a piece of lace at the bottom. And I really like this tag. I like the way that this turned out. It says love. So I was trying to use some of my clear stickers and I just layered a few pieces there. Some of the chipboard, some of the stickers. And I thought that turned out pretty. And then this one as well with the little bicycle and it says grow. So they're relatively um, flat tags. I love using these lace um, butterflies that I got from AliExpress. Okay. And then here I have another tag and I just added some of those butterfly pieces. The clear stickers back them up on some cardstock. And then my last tag says good things take time and it says important details. Very soft. So that is that for that tag flip. All right, so what else do I have to show you? Oh, I do have, um, I did, she's always loved and commented on my dangles. So of course I had to make her a dangle. I made her a really pretty pink one. And I love the way it turned out. I'll bring it up so you guys can see some of the different beads that I used. And I included some charms in there. Look at how cute this charm is with the little, um, the little gift box. So I made 
that for her and I also made her another one with silver pink blue and yellow so I thought that was pretty as well <clears throat> and last but not least um, some of you may have seen this in my challenge from um, last week where Penelope and I did like a monochromatic theme and I had made this um, really pretty mylar acetate purse so it was for Sandra and if you haven't seen it you can check out the challenge down below so I made the little purse she does have a little dangle on the side there and in here I am gifting her two memory decks cards that I made for her that's how I'm gonna gift it that's my packaging I made this one using the Willow Lane collection and as you can tell it's really simple but I think it's so pretty I like the soft colors and stuff so this says the light of my life and then I made a garden party um, inspired one so I added this gold tassel and these wire wrapped beads and puffy heart the glitter heart and just really simple layering there so I'm gonna be sending her those um, memory dex cards like I said in the cute little purse and I really love the way that purse turned out and then I what was left from the mylar acetate I was not gonna let it go to waste and so what I did and you would have seen this as well in my video um, that I used the leftover piece of acetate and I made this little pocket so this is what I'm actually going to include my letter in I'm going to um, I have to write my note to her and I'm gonna place it right in here and so I'm gonna send it to her in there so okay so I will be sending my letter in that and thank you guys for watching um, of course I'm gonna be sending her some goodies as well but um, you'll just have to see oh I don't know if she's gonna do an unboxing because she doesn't have YouTube but I am sending her a few little goodies um, some chocolate and a ribbon sample card and I also picked up some ribbon for her from Hobby Lobby um, so I'm sending her these different trims and ribbon so she can play with and I also picked up this um, really cute container that I got from Hobby Lobby filled with little jemmies all right so and I have a few other pieces that I'm sending her but I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching I hope that you like everything that I'm sending her and like I said I will leave all of her information down below so that you can go ahead and follow her on Instagram thank you guys I hope that you give this video a thumbs up and that you subscribe bye